say something I don't care you don't care that on March 3rd 1845 lightning started the great pork belly fire that wiped out our town or that pork belly gets its name because of all the pig farms in the 1800s or that on the same day as the fire the famous Bruce bandit robbed the 415 train it's not that I don't care about history it's more like I hate school what Johnny Everything we have is because of school. Every invention was possible because kids like you learned how to do it in school. Things you love like TV, video games, and things I love like exciting alternative fuels like organic methane and clean revolutionary new wind power. Wow, really? I still don't care. Oh, well, perhaps you'd prefer being back in the 1800s where all they did was sit in a schoolhouse and count sticks all day. School? Sticks? Count? Well, it's not the 1800s. It's the 21st century. And I want you all to use the rest of class to study for tomorrow's huge history test. I hate school. School is amazing, Johnny. Now stop whining, it's beneath you. I wanna go to old schools where they counted sticks all day. Stick counting, good. History test, bad. Well, you can't go back in time, Johnny. Well, I mean, you can, but the girls locked us out of the lab. Nice, what's the plan? Turbo Time Tea House. All I gotta do is send my school back in time to when kids counted sticks all day cause Johnny can't take big history test tomorrow! Mm -hmm. Wow, these are some long cables. You know you're delusional, right? No, I'm desperate. There's a huge difference. I'm just saying, Darwin could have been oh, a lonely guy, on, that's all. Genius. He was home alone all the time. Aw, oh. oh, what is he up to now? Disconnect the cables before he does something crazy! You know I'm not going with you. Yes, you are. That was a dirty trick, Johnny, and... I think you went too far back. Yeah, I typed in too many zeros. Type in less zeros! Less zeros now! Did you type in 1800 AD or 1800 BC? There's a difference, right? Hey, 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 hey. You can at least buy a guy a cup of coffee first. <laughs> AD! Type in 1800 AD! Aww. Yes, we made it! Come, children, it's time for class. And who are you, strange student? Uh, He's from the future! He has hair, flames, pants with extra pockets, and that flashing bug! No, I'm Johnny Test from Poland. Oh, okay. Well, Johnny from Poland, today's lesson is counting sticks. Woohoo! Farmland, no cars, pigs everywhere. I'd say pork belly circa 1845. Well, don't get comfy, because we're going back to our time right now. 
have such a bad feeling. <gasps> the tea house batteries! They're drained! <laughs> 37! I have 37 sticks. Very good, Johnny from Poland. Now, if I give you three more sticks, how many sticks would you have? 40. Yes! You are my best student ever! Okay, school time is over. But we've only been here an hour. And that's how long school is, Johnny from Poland. Ah! Yes! I love going old school. <laughs> what were you thinking? I was thinking that school was easier in the 1800s, and it is, so I stay here until summer break. Yeah? Well, change of dumb plans, because you drained the time tea house battery, and now we're stuck here! What? We're stuck here? Forever? I'm going to freak out now. Ah! Relax! You guys will figure it out. You're geniuses. So right now, Dookie and I are off to play some video games. There are no video games, Johnny. Then we'll watch TV. There's no TV either. Listen to the radio? Mm -mm. Skateboard? Mm -mm. Eat ice pops? All not invented yet. You have to get us back home now. This place is evil! The AC electrical current we need to charge the tea house batteries also have not been invented yet. Well, what has been invented yet? Girdles, the wheel, and steel pipe. Why can't you just go to school like normal kids? School is good. It's where you grow and learn things like don't drag your dog back in time with you! Who cares if the great pork belly fire was caused by lightning on March 3rd, 1845? Wait, March 3rd? That's today! Yes! We'll use lightning to charge the batteries. Now, the lightning struck the church steeple. So we have to connect it and get down before the lightning hits. Yes! We're going home! Look, this dog saved the town from what surely would have been a devastating fire. We'll call him Lightning, the hero dog. Okay, now we need to invent a new energy source to get home. You mean like wind power? Wind power! The windmill will crank this portable generator and charge the Time Tea House battery cells. It's working! Yes! We're going home! And at the current charging rate, and the fact that Pork Belly is not in a wind zone, and it is a primitive windmill, we will be fully charged in 1904. <laughs> You should have stayed in school! Hey, you sit on a hard plastic seat for eight hours a day talking about pig farms and the wonders of methane. Methane! What's methane? Just a highly powerful and natural gas that can be mined from pigs! <laughs> one problem. We need an engine to burn the methane, and the only one invented is the steam engine. Oh, that's easy. All we have to do is rob a train. And by rob a train, I mean steal the whole train. Did you say rob a train? What time is it? 4.15. You're Bruce, right? What's going on? We're going to take this one. <laughs> it's a train robbery! Don't shoot! All the money's in the third box car. Take it! Take it! Thanks, but we just need the train part. That makes no sense. Hey I stole the train, but not the money. Well, that makes no sense. How did you know that the train was coming? Don't say I told you so, but I learned it in school. I told you so! I said not to say that! Now hold on to your fuzzy butt! came in handy. So did the pigs. It's working! Yes! We're going home! Oh, now what? It's the sheriff and his posse! Run! Run! We're almost charged! <laughs> Come out or we're coming in! In three, two, oh, hold, hold 
I'm gonna pretend I never saw that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Drug. <laughs> I know you're mad, but wow, did I learn a lesson. That school is hard, but it's where we learn. And that's what enables us to do great things. And it's all thanks to my wonderful sisters who I love so much. We want a Johnny Test coupon. Good for 10 experiments, no questions asked. You got it. But I'm serious about school. I'm actually looking forward to my history test tomorrow. An F? But I studied this time. What book? Johnny, the great train robbery was done by a boy and his hairy sidekick, not Bruce Bandit. You didn't even mention how methane was discovered in Pork Belly, and everybody knows there was no great fire in Pork Belly. It was prevented by lightning, the hero dog, whose statue graces our town square. You look good. Thanks. Nice one. I think we've reached the maximum amount of fun that refrigerator magnets have to offer. Hmm. Floaty magnets, ceiling, Johnny want to know more. If you must know, we're working on something new and you can't play with it. Oh, oh fine, what is it? Say hello to the magnetizer. We've unlocked the ability to rearrange the electrons in any, and she means any object and make them magnetically positive or negative. Observe. Two wooden chairs. Objects with the exact same charge will repel each other. Give me your chew toy. Be gentle with it. Now, watch how opposites attract. The applications are endless. Military, construction... Give Johnny the ability to walk on ceiling? Yeah, that too. And because we're such great sisters and ready for final diagnostics, we'll let you test it. <gasps> but Johnny, you cannot abuse this machine. This dial sets how many newtons of magnetic force an object will have after you zap it. Do not exceed 5,000 newtons of force. And please try not to... Blah, 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 5,000 use of force, whatever, got it. Now let's use the magnetizing force. Meatloaf for breakfast, meatloaf in the lunch, and even at supper time. Snowboarding without snow or boards or anything. And the girl said don't go over 5,000 Newmans. Ah! Magnets run! <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> you set the magnetizer to 100,000 Newtons? You say that like it's a bad thing. Johnny, look around you! I've gone overboard. Um, why is it snowing even though it's not winter? Oh, this is bad. We have done it, Ingvar. We have finally arrived at the North Pole. Did he just say this is the North Pole? We claim this land for Sweden. Nobody can stop our ever-growing empire. We will rule the world with efficient safe cars and stylish, inexpensive home furnishings. Let me see that. Oh, now I see what's happened. You've completely destroyed the planet Earth's magnetic alignment! And now you've made Pork Belly the new North Pole! But this is a good thing. Why? First, we'll have snow days every day, and second, Santa will have to move here. And that means we'll get all the surplus toys up high. This is a bad 
bad thing, Johnny, because the Earth is going to undergo a massive climate shift. Polar ice caps will melt. Cities around the world will flood. Yoo-hoo! Swedish meatballs for everybody. Eat them or face our Scandinavian wrath. Um, I'll take a meatball. It's good, yeah. Mm. Swedish meatballs, no school, Santa surplus toys. I'm loving the new North Pole. Snarling polar bears. Yeah, that's bad. To the lab! You kids came down for dinner, and I didn't even have to chase you. <laughs> Snarling polar bears! You guys like meatloaf? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll make some more. With this giganto magnetizer, we can reconfigure the Earth's polarity with a massive explosion of magnetic energy. If we don't, the temperature will continue to drop and Pork Belly will become a frozen wasteland and destroyed in nine hours. So let me get this straight. Santa is not moving to Pork Belly. No, and we have to detonate it from the old North Pole. Great, I'll go get my Christmas list. <laughs> Too big? I'm thinking that destroying the planet's climate and dooming life as we know it makes you a prime candidate for Santa's naughty list. Hey, I do good things. And as soon as I think of one, I'll let you know. So how did three kids and their lovable talking dog get to the North Pole and set off a huge magnetic blast? We'll take the XR-40i spaceship. Okay, how about the ATVs? It's almost as though an insane amount of electromagnetism in the area rendered them useless! Why are you looking at me? Oh, yeah, right. Hey, I know. We'll just fly Super Dookie! Oh, I don't want to fly you to the North Pole. <laughs> that was so uncool! And now it's time for Johnny X! Okay, looks like it's just a job for Super Dookie. But how is he gonna carry the Giganto Magnetizer and us? And we're running out of time! Pork Belly is freezing! Don't worry, I have a plan. So much furniture in such a small box! Sweden rules! Hook Super Dookie up to the sled! Mush Dog! <laughs> Hey, that kid is stealing our sled. Oh, uh, I'm not making Santa's nice list this year. Hurry, Johnny! Up, up, and away, dog! I'm trying my best. You guys are heavy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> if something makes my nose start glowing red, I am out. Hank Anchorman here, bringing you a Pork Belly News update. Snarling polar bears everywhere. Swedish explorers have taken over the city, and the bizarre blizzard has gained momentum and freezing the citizens of Pork Belly into. Okay, guys, I'm flattered you love my cooking, but eat slowly now because. Okay, I'll make more. Yeah, that's all, fellas. <laughs> There's no more food. Right. I'm food. Help! According to our GPS, we're quickly approaching the real North Pole. Nothing can stop us. Go, go, go! This is Sky Brigade. I am locked on to an unidentified Santa Claus impersonator. Permission to engage. Roger that, Sky Brigade. Permission is granted. Nobody impersonates the big guy. Um, I think a heat-seeking missile is heading right for my butt! Stop! I just want to go on record and say I want a huge, juicy steak when we get home. We're here! Drop the Giganto Magnetizer out of the sled, but remove the remote detonator from the side first. Or we can't set it off, and then... Incoming! We're going down! Mayday! Mayday! And what does Mayday mean anyway? Uh, we have a direct hit. Repeat, Phony Claus has been eliminated. Roger that, Sky Brigade. Report back to base for debriefing and a hot chocolate. We made it! But now the ice is melting! And we're all going to fall in! We have to set off the magnetizer! Johnny, please tell me you grabbed the remote detonator before we crashed! Please! 
Who's on the naughty list now? Hit the detonator! Uh, frozen! Immobile people sickles! <laughs> Wait, this just in? We're fine! Oh, 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 guys! I'm not even that tasty! And, 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 and somebody help! help! Let's go take over the North Pole, Ingvar. It's so quiet and peaceful up there, Ingvar. Your birds are a smorgasbord of lies! We did it! Yes, the world is safe, and we're safe! But we're stuck! The sled is destroyed! And the magnetic blast! Took away my super flying powers! No problem. We'll just call for help with the emergency satellite phone. That broke your fall when you landed. We saved the world, but nothing can save us! Hmm? Wait! Do you hear something? Oh, 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 oh. So, you think you'll give us a lift? 